Hello my dear students, in this video we are going to create a base class containing the data members, roll number and name. Also create a member function to read and display the data using the concept of single level inheritance. Create a derived class that contains marks of two subjects and total marks as the data members. So let us write the preprocessor directives hash include input output stream dot h hash include console input output dot h now we are going to define a class called abc curly open brace and here i am going to declare all the necessary variables like int roll number as it is given in the question roll number and name now i am going to write char name array of size 20 next i am going to write public section colon we will use the user defined function wide read curly open brace see out we will ask the user to enter roll number and name in a double quotation mark i am going to write enter the roll number and name next scene we will accept roll number and name of the student and put semicolon curly closing brace so whatever we have entered it has to be displayed for that i'm going to define one more user defined function called wide display see out stream insertion operator and i want to print roll number as it is then the variable name roll number then end l see out name of the student name is equal to name and put semicolon curly closing brace and curly closing brace for this class definition and put semicolon that indicates it's a termination point of our class definition now let us define one more class that is called derived class you can see here using the concept of single level inheritance we have to create a derived class that contains marks of two subjects and total marks so let us define one more class called x y z so curly open brace here i'm going to declare three variables int m1 m2 and total marks as t now let us define two more user defined functions which are used for reading the marks and calculating the total and displaying the same so let us write wide here in a public section we have to write public colon wide read one curly open brace here we will ask the user to enter the marks of two subjects next scene m1 and m2 next we are going to calculate total t is equal to m1 plus m2 so that one will be stored in the variable called t next we will display the same using one more user defined function called wide display one curly open brace and here we are going to write c out first marks is equal to m1 we'll write end l c out second marks equal to m2 end l and now i want to print the total of uh, the two subjects that is total marks is equal to t and end l curly closing brace for this wide display one user defined function and one more curly closing brace for this class definition and put semicolon so here you can see i have written only class x y z 
and here important point to be noted is we have to write here colon public a b c so what is the meaning of this if i write public a b c so all the properties which are present in the base class will get inherited to the derived class called x y z so this is important point to be noted so this one you have to write next so after that we have to create an object of the derived class not the base class because base class is acting as an abstract class now let us write wide main and we know that execution of any c++ program starts from main function only so we are going to create the object of this derived class why because all the properties of the base class is already inherited to derived class hence we have to create an object of the derived class only so here i'll write x y z uh, for example i'll write ob as an object clr scr is optional if you want to write you can write otherwise you can omit this so we will be able to access each of these user defined functions like read display read one display one with the help of object dot is a member access operator which is used to access each member of the class now i'll be able to access read ob dot read function then i'll write ob dot read one ob dot display and then ob dot display one and put semicolon get ch function then curly closing brace so whenever you execute this program always execution starts from main and when the compiler encounters with ob dot read control directly jumps to read and it is going to ask the user to enter the role number and name so here the role number and name will be entered by the user so for example here i'm going to write output so it will ask the user to enter the role number and name so down here i'm going to write role number one and name is i'm going to write shilpa for example next so once we enter both of these two values control again directly jumps to the main function and it is going to execute ob dot read one so directly control jumps to read one user defined function next it will ask the user to enter the marks of two subjects here i'm going to enter for example 90 and 90 next so it is going to calculate total m1 plus m2 and it will be stored in t so that is 180 will be stored in t so soon after this again control jumps to wide main ob dot display so here control again jumps to this particular user defined function next it is going to print the roll number roll number entered was what one so here it is going to print roll number is equal to one because this roll number variable is holding value one next it is going to print name is equal to so name is holding value for example shilpa okay next again after this control comes back to main function ob dot display one control jumps to this user defined function wide display one it will print first marks is equal to first marks was 90 will be printed just because of this end l cursor will come down to the next line so it is going to print second marks is equal to again it is 90 okay next here you can see see out total marks so it is going to print total marks is equal to so it is already stored in the variable t that is 180 so 180 will be displayed so again control jumps back to main function so it encounters with get ch and then it terminates the program and now it's time to go for execution of this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c plus plus compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9
So here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error. Let us execute this program by pressing Ctrl F9. Here you can see it is asking enter roll number and name. Here I am going to enter 1 as roll number and name as Silpa and press enter. Now it is asking the user to enter the first marks and second marks. For example, I am going to enter 90 and 90. Now you can observe here roll number is equal to 1 name is equal to Shilpa, first marks is equal to 90, second marks is equal to 90 and total marks is equal to 180. I hope you understood. If yes, please write down in the comment box as yes. Thank you.